right, Shalom, Shalom. It's brother Kaya from the gym, Mr. Louisiana Saints, coming back at you with another ride and talk. Prior to getting started, as we always do, I'd like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kabadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the Akims that's pushing the truth and sincerity. Y'all willing this video be able to find first and foremost to the whole elect, then to those that cleave to the body. And today's lesson is going to be if the Lord cool with it, we cool with it. All right. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to get a few precepts. Is that the way our our earthly minds function, all right, concerning things that's transpiring in the earth, all right, we have to uh, stand pat with ourselves and understand that, that nothing is being, all right, move or shook or done least it be by uh, the Lord's will alright okay preserved of him you see nobody or one thing that's going on alright it's it's not controlled by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah man alright Yahweh being a what the orchestrator alright the governor of it you see and again, it's all manufactured through the thoughts of the Lord. Let me get this. I'm going to start off with this. This is a rock. Because there's a point that I want, you know, we always say that down here. All right, GMS Louise and the Saints, you know, brothers in the house. I mean, chiefly me, you know, brothers, but you know, brothers have said that have stuck with them, you know, when they came across their ears and they heard it. All right. <clears throat> again, whatever is in the earth was ever being done, contrary to popular belief, we're cool with it. All right, but it's a we don't we uh speak against wrongdoing, all right, but we we know the author behind it, all right. This is a rock 18 and 1. He that liveth forever had created all things in general. Now, creator mean creation, all right. So he's the creation of all things in general, not just people, all right, <laughs> all right, situations, all right. Uh, you look in the earth, you got uh, uh, things happening, all right? Things that happen is of the Lord, all right? All the issues surrounding anything, the Lord is the creator of it, all right? It says, the Lord only is righteous and there is none other but he who governeth the whole world with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will. Now, how you gonna, how you gonna get around that, man? All right? And the palm of the Lord hand is the power of the earth, man. All right? The Lord have the whole power of the, of, the, of the world in his hand, man. All right? So how can you resist or put up any resistance towards the Lord, seeing that the Lord is conducting? He's the conductor of the, the engine, the source. The one created the engine that, that have the whole planet earth moving and functioning, man. On his axles, all right. It is he that sit it upon the circle of the earth, man. If the law is sitting on the earth, man, anything in the earth is is, is obedient, man. It's subservient. It's under his rule, all right. It says, "Who governeth the whole world with the palm of his hand?" That's everything and concerning the world, all right. So, man, I mean. There's even no reason to be all upset and tense and tight through the spirit, man. Like, I mean, you could be, you. what you gonna do? You gonna be pondering and be mad, all right? And then can't control the situation, all right? Infirmities, whatever, the Lord is, <laughs> give them their infirmity, man. All right? Take that from them. Hand this over to them. Do this like that, all right? And think of all the places in the earth, all the people, all the things going on, think of the Lord governing all of that, man. That alone gotta it gotta give you some type of uh, uh, peace to yourself. You gotta really, you gotta really exercise that thought, really meditate into that thought, man. And maybe you wouldn't be so angry at the at, at E, you know. But again, a man anger is stirred up inside of him. You know, regarding matters, right? I ain't saying you can't be mad at him. What I'm saying is, don't don't stress yourself out. Don't over uh, anger yourself, man. All right. 
knowing that whose will it is. It says, to whom had he given, to whom had he given power to declare his works? And who shall find out his noble acts? All right. It says, uh, let me jump to. I can read all the way down. I'm going to go to eight. Who shall number the strength of his majesty? And who shall also tell out of his mercies, man? All right. So the Lord majesty, all right, is, stretch, is stretching forth, all right, through the, through the curtains of the earth, which was created, all right? Who shall find out his noble acts, man? His nobility, <laughs> all right? There's no true measurement you can put on a Lord except if it be of, of himself. So how then can you box him in? So again, when fearless get put to the side, reality uh, substitutes his place, man, all right? Reality need to sink in. Once reality done truly set in, according to righteousness and understanding of the earth, man, you're going to be all right, Jake. All right? You know, you just kind of walk, you know, you can't have that war with me spirit all day, man. All right? It's a balance. You know, I, hey, because the Lord say on, on, you know, just, just, you know, be angry, but, you know, don't sin not. It's cool. You can be that way. But, hey, again, it's your choice, man. You know, I try to use that as a... Uh, as a sense of ther therapeutic relief, somewhat when we're in hell. I mean, cause we can always find something to be mad about, but what about all the things that we should be excited about? And again, you know, me and the, uh, the, the younger brother Cabal was talking, all right? He was like, oh, he was like, man, you know, some of you had said stuck with me or whatever about, you know, the Lord cool with it, we cool with it. He like, hey, why be all so pissed off? We this close to the kingdom anyways. All right? It ain't like, because you pissed off, time going to go faster. All right? The Lord going to give us the kingdom of heaven because you mad, Jake. Nah. All right? It says, as of for the wondrous works, all right, 18 and 6, of the Lord, there may nothing be taken from them, neither may anything be put to them, neither can the ground of, of them be found out. So you can't add, you can't rush the time. All right? You can't charge the time to go slow. For us to take over or get uh, uh, get the kingdom of heaven, all right. So you a hey, it says there with to be content in whatsoever state we in, man. Hey, that and Philippians, man. That's you know, hey, at at the end of the day, you gotta be honest with yourself, man. All right, you gotta be honest with the the things that the Lord is allowing and doing. You gotta be honest with it, man. Whatever sort of things are honest and true, let it be so, man. So it be. Amen. All right. If it's honest and true, and that's the way, hey, that's it. Don't the scripture say I go at hard after thee? David say that. Well, if you go at hard after thee, this is the way to the kingdom. All right. We got to wait. We got to still be in hell. Right. We got to suffer afflictions. All right. We got to, you know, endure. All right. And all while we doing that, we serving the Lord, though, man. We still working on the Lord. We on the Lord payroll, man. All right. There's nothing for the Lord to fire you, man. And then when the Lord fire you, you never find a job again. <laughs> In that order, man. All right? Nobody wants your resume. Once you see you done been fired from your how about shimmy, I was shot. Who? What person in their mind would be like, you can't work for the Lord. Nigga, you can't work for nobody. All right? It says when a, when a man had done, then he begin it. And when he leave it off, then he shall be doubtful. Yep. This is the point. What is man and where to serve it he? This is question marks. Where to you serve? Like, what is man? All right. What is his good and what is his evil? What's your good and your evil compared to the Lord? Seeing who you serve, man. See, he's the, he's, the Lord is the creator of good and evil. Where to you serve him? Just play your lot, your role. All right? Do what you have to do. What is man and where to serve it he? What is his good and what is his evil? All right? All right. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 25. 
And, and again, man, all right, all these things was called purposely for the Lord's will, man. This uh, Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 25. And how could anything have endured if it had not been thy will, question mark, or been preserved if not called by thee? You see? So if everything is already set, who are you to, to, to <laughs> who are we? Wherein we serve a will that's a set will. Who are we? Again, man, we just acknowledge the workmaster and we just pray to the Lord we could continue being worked by him. All right? Being a vessel unto use. All right? I'm going to bring that out. Second Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of our power standeth sure, having this seal. And there's a found first, is first of all the foundation of the Lord, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, all right? And all is his. Once I go back to the wisdom of Solomon, all right? It says, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that name it the name of the Mashiach depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. See, there's vessels unto use, man. Let me, let me. I think it's Romans, man. Yep. Yeah. This is Romans 9 and 20. Nay, well, 19. This will say then unto them, Why doeth he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? Shall the thing form that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? <laughs> Had not the powder power over the clay over the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another to dishonor? You see? All right. It says, What if our power willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, which is the wicked, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy this is the one I want to get which he had afore prepared unto glory alright it was already prescribed and preserved alright for his will called alright called of his will man so how we can push up against that man can't get no blowback of the Lord man just wake up and be be okay man at this, at this point you got the truth all right, you you in the key you 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 in uh you know you in the uh you on the good hand or the good end of the Lord, cause tomorrow, all right, if you be a great complainer, ain't complaining the bitterness of your soul. Hold your complaint upon yourself. You might complain about all the things that's transpiring in the earth. Well, it's like you almost complaining against God. Well, actually, you are. In a sense, if you really believe that God have allow these things to happen man all right it's still a balance with knowing that dude because i'm not saying hey just go along with the wrong doing all right do not the lord hate wickedness all right so you got to get the thorough understanding of that as well i ain't saying hey man since all this wickedness and everything going on you just just go partake in it no 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 no, no. depart from me Nick. all right all right be vexed with what's going on but what I'm saying is, find your balance in it and understand it too. Why you vexed? Also, get the understanding of, all right, I'm vexed, 
but why am I vexed? What makes me vexed about it? All right? And still know the larger picture of it is that the Lord have allowed it, man, which is the, you know, the ultimate point. But back in Wisdom of, wisdom of Solomon 11 and 25, and how could anything have endured if it had not been thy will? That's how important the Lord's will is, man. All right? The Lord's will is more important than you seeing that you are inside of it. You're not above his will. Duh. Or been preserved if not called by thee. All right? How? How? How would you even exist right now or be able to be vexed if the Lord ain't turn you over to righteousness or allow you to know righteousness, man? How? Or allow you to understand evil? Because they got evil men. Evil men don't understand judgment. So they got men out here who don't know what's right or fucking wrong. All right? Though, yeah, you just this whole vexed person. All right? Be vexed, but remember the balance. Be also grateful, too. All right? It's the serenity rule, accepting the things you can't change. All right? And tagging along and moving along with it. It said, but thou sparest all, for, for they are dying, O thou lovers of souls, man. So we, we, we the Lord's soul, man. And remember this. I'm going to get out of here with this. It's Ecclesiastes 3 and 14. All right? We can't be all bent out of shape, man. All right? We just bent out of shape all day. All right? Because we don't have the kingdom of heaven. All right? They ain't, they, and this not a, it's not a courtesy call on saying I won't stay here. But I have no power over getting the kingdom of heaven today or tomorrow. That, that lies in the power of the Lord, man. All right? Don't tempt the Lord, man. All right? This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 14. Now remember, had it not been preserved or been called by thee, if it wasn't for the Lord, well, I know that whatsoever. Well, I'm going to read 13. And also that every man, well, 12. Well, 11. He had made everything beautiful in this time. So even us waiting for the kingdom of heaven is beautiful to the Lord. If the Lord ain't said it would be beautiful, then he wouldn't make us wait, man. All right? Everything is beautiful to the Lord, his entire creation. And you got to get the thorough understanding of that. All right? Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God make it from the beginning to the end. You see? So the will of the Lord is in the Lord's heart. All right? Saying that we're part of his will. All right? The will have to be fulfilled. The significance of the importance of his will. It says, I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. That's it. All right? For show thee, O man, what is good. It's to what? Love the Lord and, and, and work in righteousness, man. And do, you know, do whatever you could do for the Lord, man. It says, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of the God of our power. So enjoy your labor. Enjoy this labor, man. All right, that's why it's a labor. Okay? The price that we're going to get paid for the labor is going to be greater than the labor. <laughs> The weight was greater than the labor. You see? The payoff. The weight for the payoff. It says, this is the point. I know that whatsoever our power do it, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it. Nothing can, nor anything taken away from it. And God do it that men should fear before him. So fear before the Lord, man. All right? And put a watch after the way your thoughts is going after things in the world, man. All right? Well, how your thoughts look at things in the world. Seeing the balance to both sides of them. All right. Also knowing the learning, the patience and the sufferings that come with it. So that we may be crowned and, you know, be able to enjoy. All right. The fruit of our waiting. All right. Concerning the things the Lord have established for us in his will. So I will write the Zavieta for a minute. Until the next time I'm going to see Shalom.